No other time in the building history do we have a better understanding of what we built and what we can build. Home Building Crossroad can be a way for people to understand that our goal is to put a house in a position for success. Hey YouTube, Steve Basic here from the Unbuilder Podcast. I'm out here at our Hilltop Aero Project and today we're going to talk about building semantics. Yes, I'm going to talk about building vocabulary. So break out your pen and pencil, pay attention, there will be a quiz at the end of this. As an architect or builder, we like to put labels on things. Labels help us to communicate, communicate clearly and identify different parts of the building. So it's real easy for me to say in this floor assembly, hey, here's the floor assembly, here's the wall assembly, right? And then up on top, we have the roof assembly or the window assembly, window installation assembly, deck assembly here in the case of the, the deck here above us. But here's the reality. Mother Nature doesn't give a damn about what we call it. Mother Nature has a set of physics ru rules, thermodynamic rules that apply to everything, right? Mother Nature doesn't give a damn that we call this a floor assembly and we call this a wall, wall assembly. Mother Nature's rules are moisture moves from high to low and temperature moves from hot to cold. How we choose to battle and manage those physical characteristics of what's happening is up to us as the design and building professionals, right? So when it comes to walls, we're trying to keep the heat in in the winter time or the heat out in the summertime because the heat obviously in July here in Missouri is trying to get into the house and warm the chilled air that we paid for to create via air conditioning. Well, the same physical condition is down here in this floor assembly that's cantilevered over these brick pier or these uh, concrete um, piers, right? So there is no real difference between the floor and the wall here. They're acting the same. So it's, it's really interesting that when I have conversations with other architects or builders, when we're out lecturing somewhere across the country, people say, well, I have this kind of floor assembly here and I'm thinking, and the answer is, well, just treat it like a wall assembly because that's all this is. That's this wall assembly rotated 90 degrees and we choose to call it a floor assembly, but it's the same assembly. So keep that in mind when you're designing buildings, when you're building buildings that mother nature doesn't care what we call it. We're the ones that put the labels on things.